What's up guys? This is another video, another ASO quick tip coming at your way. And what I want to talk to you about today is I want to give you a brief insight into the acquisition reports in the Google Play Console. And I want to give you the view that I am having on the KPIs as I'm doing App Store optimization. Because what I use in order to see how effective my App Store optimization efforts really have been are the developer consoles. So it is basically a little different than what we have seen in App Store Connect. I have also made a video, maybe you can check it out, but it is different in that regard that you have a couple of or you ha have less filtering options and um, less segmenting options like uh, not as sophisticated um, quote unquote as the App Store Connect um, dashboard. So what can we do? We can basically see our organic traffic um, split into countries. So we can see all right this is what we get from Germany, Italy, Austria and so on and also um, basically in, uh, yeah, in, in which time frame we, we want to check our organic traffic. But besides the organic traffic uh, for each country, we can also go to acquisition channel or go to country. Country just means that's the overall traffic, you can't filter it at all. And acquisition channel is that that gives us the best picture about how each channel is performing. Here you can see Google Ads, um, track channels, Google Search, third-party referrers. So everything what Google owns, everything from their portfolio is also listed here automatically. When we scroll down, we get a dashboard or a graph um, that gives us an insight into our funnel. What we can see right away is that we don't get any impressions. All we get is we get store listing visitors, we get first time installers and then also buyers. And if we click here, then, then we get the retention rate for 30 days, for 15 days, for seven days. Um, and then you can see how are your users actually sticking to your app. What does it mean when we have no insights into impressions? It means that we don't necessarily know if our icon is performing well and bringing a lot of users or potentially the most users that we could bring to our app. We can only say, all right, we changed our icon and then our store listing visitors increased as well, but we don't have a clear click-through rate that we can make our decisions on. What we have though is a total conversion rate. So from a visitor to an installer. And here you have to be a little bit, um, it's a little tricky because you can't choose the overall conversion rate because this takes into consideration basically all the installers or all the visitors. You have to click here and then see, all right, this is actually our organic conversion rate. And then you can scroll further down and then you see between search and browse, there's also a distinction, a distinction and 24% of our users who visit our um, Google Play Store page are actually converting to a download. So just be aware that you check the right numbers. What you can then see is also, all right, we have a little graph that shows us a benchmark of how well are we actually performing. It takes the worst um, performing percentile and the best performing percentile of other apps and gives us a ballpark number of what we could achieve or what the, the top apps are actually achieving in our category. In this case, we are in health and fitness and what that we shouldn't drop further down. Um, so this also gives you an insight, all right, we can actually see, you, you don't have to Google any benchmarks or something like that, you have it right away in your Play Console. So if you haven't used it already, um, go ahead, take a look at your app and see how your app is performing in comparison to um, your competitors. Then um, it's also, well, here you can see, all right, it's a, it's a little forecast, but what is more important is from month to month, these um, can actually jump quite hefty. So in one month, you might have 23.2, in another month, you might have 26. 
and you don't necessarily know why. And if you haven't done anything, like uh, changing your screenshots, changing your description, changing your short, uh, short description, uh, change your title, things like that, then um, it's probably because uh, somebody or you have set campaigns and somebody was actually typing in your brand name. Because think about it, somebody types in your brand name and it's basically that you are having users that perf um, convert better because somebody already knew I want to download Tinder and then I find Tinder and I download Tinder. In some cases people um, divert from that decision and download something else but in the most cases people download the brand. One important factor that um, some uh, app store uh, users or, or I should say app publishers are neglecting is taking a look at the screenshots the app is uh, ranking for, uh, the, the keywords the app is ranking for, and then also thinking about it more deeply. What do I mean by that? It is that these keywords, even though it's not a lot, um, it's, it's four keywords and we have then the majority of our visitors coming from other, and this is almost the case for every app, at least the apps that I've encountered. Um, if it's any different for you, just type it in, in the comments, would be interesting to know. But it's, um, yeah, it's, it's really that you can learn from which keywords actually real traffic is coming from. And then you can basically come up with long tails from that keyword and also consider this, if you haven't already, for your keyword research. So let's say we, we know people are searching for a plan and then you type in the plan into um, the Google search, uh, Google Play search, and then you get long tails for it. And then you see, all right, do we actually already target these keywords? And if you have, um, if you aren't sure how to target those keywords, we, we're going to talk about this in, in, another, uh, in another video. But um, just keep in mind, there's a deeper meaning behind those keywords. For example, this is a brand. People are apparently typing in a brand and then finding an app that doesn't necessarily represent that brand. We also see that in a relatively low conversion rate, but still people are going into the Google Play Store and this brand probably doesn't even have an app. So think about that. If there's a brand outside, an online brand, and they don't have an app and you see their name in here, Think about how you can use that, maybe in your overall marketing strategy, maybe going for um, Google Display and seeing if you can actually set up um, ads on that platform or on that website. Yeah, so um, there are a couple of things that you have to be aware, but in, in general, it's just keeping a, a pulse on that, tracking that, and then also always when you make changes in your keywords, um, know exactly when you have done those changes in order to then go back and can and that you can see okay these changes actually produce these results in our conversion rate in our increase of visitors in our insta uh, increase of buyers whatever your intention is all right guys that's um just a quick walkthrough um there's much more to the google play console but this is just the google play console from an aso perspective all right, guys, looking forward to speak to you again. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.